so this is a little insight as to what I'm going to be packing in my little toiletries bag. I'm going to be going backpacking with Kentiki um, to Vietnam. So this is just for around 17 days. So yeah, it's just a little insight of what I'm packing just to give anyone ideas if they are backpacking or if they're going on a little Kentiki tour or just like, you know, going on a holiday. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what I'm actually going to pack everything in. Um, I found this little um, toiletry bag. I think it's like a makeup bag thing maybe from Kmart. It was like $10. It's black. It's like black matte and it's got these two massive zipper compartments and I thought this would be perfect. This is what I found and I think it's a great way to store everything. So I have two compartments in this bag. One side I wanna kinda put like shower stuff, so like shampoo, conditioner, like toothpaste and things like that. And then the other side I kinda wanna put um, medicine and like other odds and ends that kinda won't fit in here. I got a little shampoo and conditioner, this one here from Pantene, not really far. Um, it's the perfect size. Next is a little body wash. I got this from the body shop like a while ago and I've been saving it for um, a trip like this where I would need body wash with me. So this is like a little mango one. Um, the next thing is toothpaste. This is like a mini version of the normal, the big version. Um, I'm going to keep it in the box just because I don't want it to squeeze out of the tube. The next item is moisturizer, like body lotion. I have very dry skin and even if I do go to a very hot humid country my skin seems to be still really dry so Vaseline is my fave when it comes to moisturization um, it's really lightweight but it does the job at the same time the next item that I got um, is deodorant so once again very very hot you need to smell good you don't want all that BO clinging onto you so deodorant is key I just remembered after saying deodorant, I need to pack perfume. The next item is Bioderma. It's like a mini version. It is so damn cute. I love the bottle. Um, so yeah, it's a little micellar water um, just to kind of clean up my face and yeah, to remove makeup and things like that. I have to pack in little cotton um, pads as well for this. Um, I'll probably be going over this video going, yes, I need to pack that. So yeah, cotton uh, pads for this little guy. The next item is hand sanitizer. So this is really important. Um, just having one on your persons at all time. I'll definitely be carrying this in my backpack. Um, I'm going to put it in here for now, but I'll be, it'll be with me um, in my backpack just while using it at the airport and yeah just traveling around it's just good to have a little bit of hand sand. The next item is not a necessity but I thought maybe you know I know my skin really plays up so I thought I'll pack in a little mask. This is from Nivea. Um, it's a one minute urban detox mask. Um, I've tried it already and I actually kind of like it so yeah hopefully I, my skin doesn't go too crazy but the mask will definitely help. Once again, these items are like a little suggestion as to what you can pack or like a little reminder. You don't have to pack all these things. This is just me overreacting. Um, the next item is my face moisturizer. It's pretty dirty because it's kind of like covered in foundation stains. So this isn't my normal moisturizer, but it's a um, sunscreen moisturizer. So it's Everyday Face by Hamilton. Um, it has um, SPF 50 plus. And what I love about this is that it's really moisturizing and it's mattifying and it doesn't leave a horrible sunscreen mask on your face so you don't feel oily at all. When I put this on it doesn't feel like I'm wearing sunscreen at all so I really really like this stuff. The next thing is a little lip balm. I'll put this in here but I'll most likely keep this in my backpack. I've got some insect repellent. I do not want any massive mozzie bites ruining my trip so this is a little mini can just spraying this on my body and getting rid of those nasties so having that the next item is some facial wipes they're kind of makeup remover wipes but you can use them for I don't know if you get your fingers in anything sticky or just wiping down your face anything like that I feel like they're really really great for any struggles so I might also pack um, little 
tissue packets um, in my backpack as well. I've got some little hairpins as well. So I feel like I'll take these, but I'll come back from Vietnam with nothing. I always lose these things, but these are always very handy. The next item is a razor. Um, I like to have some clean shaven legs. So razors are key. I might wrap this in a tissue because knowing me, I'll probably slice my hand open. So I got this little pack from Miniso and it has like three little containers and then it also came with um, three bottles. So this one's empty. Um, it came and then it came with this other bottle here and a spray bottle. So in this spray one, I have the Mario Badescu I think the rose water spray. I didn't want to take the whole bottle. Um, so I thought I'll pack this just to refresh my face. And then in here is just for the girls. Um, if you're a girl like me and you need to keep your down there very clean. Just because general hygiene and you don't want to use other soaps that can like um, irritate that area. So I use Femme Fresh. I know this is getting a bit real right now. <laughs> But yeah, I use Friend Fresh and I didn't want to take this massive bottle with me. So I placed it in this little mini bottle. It'd be so awkward if someone goes, oh, can I borrow your face wash? And it's like, no, it's my vagina wash. Um, I haven't found anything for this. I might not pack it. I don't want to take too much stuff. But yeah, I haven't found anything for this one. So the only thing I might take full size is my face wash only because... The bottle is like a foam dispenser. So when I pump this out into the liquid foam comes out. So I think this is the only thing that I'll pack full size. If I'm really struggling for space, I might buy a small face wash or something else, but this is my face wash. So I'm packing nail polish and I know you're like, what, why do you need nail polish? Well, I feel like I'm going to be wearing a lot of slippers and thongs, like, you know, my feet's going to be constantly in the water and exposed for everyone to see and nail polish tends to chip away, especially when you're on holiday and you're out and about with your toes exposed. Nail polish always chips away and I feel like having nail polish on you just to do little touch-ups is so handy i don't know if this is any anyone else has picked up on this but this is my little thing i always bring a nude nail polish because it's so easy to kind of retouch and kind of hide your nasty nails so the next like couple of items are like medication type of things like generic medication i could say um so this is like a diarrhea relief thing tablet situation so it's effective diarrhea relief um, I don't really have that much of a sensitive stomach, but I do love to try other foods. I love street food, so I'm, I really eat anything, and sometimes my mouth will be like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever, but my stomach might not agree, so to avoid, like, awkwardness, I've packed this. Hopefully I won't have to use it, but it is there. The next item is some Nurofen, or if you like Panadol, um, this is just for any aches or headaches or anything um, that would kind of give me some pain. I might, I'll take this. Um, so yeah, this is just a backup. And then the next item is some hydrolytes. So hydrolytes are like um, electrolyte tablets. You can get a glass of water and there's like a little tablet. It's not little, it's like a pretty big tablet. And you just drop it in and it fizzes up and it becomes like a little orange cordial type of drink situation. And it's just really great um, to bring back your hydration in your body. Um, so if you are dehydrated or you felt sick and you need to kind of reboost your body, this is a great way to do it. So I have some other medications that I'm going to pack. Those ones are like personal medications for my allergies and things like that. But yeah, if you have any allergy medication, um, you can pack it here. Maybe allergy will be best to keep it on yourself, not in your toiletry bag. Oh, and then one more thing is a mirror. So this will be probably with me as well. So in terms of hair, I need to pack a hairbrush. That's what I completely have forgotten. The next item that I'm going to be packing is my John Frieda Frizz Ease. I love this stuff. Um, 
it really just controls my frizz and tames my frizz and I feel like going into a humid country this will be really really helpful so I'm packing this one and then the next hair care product that I recently kind of got into is also from John Frieda love John Frieda and it's the ocean wave sea salt spray so I know I'm going to a country with oceans and like you know I can get natural sea salt but I've been really liking this and it nicely waves my hair so this is the next thing so that's everything packed I know it's like super packed in there I have to probably like reorganize it and like Tetris this really really well um this is just me ramming it in but as you can see it fits so much stuff and I feel like I am so over prepared this is me being way too prepared um I know I won't even need half of this stuff but this is just me not freaking out so i thought i'd show my face at the end of this video um the reason why i wasn't showing my face is because of this i'm not wearing any makeup i am fresh face not really i just finished work and i look really really bad um i'm getting sick and i want to get better before i leave <laughs> Um, but hopefully you like this video. Um, it's a little bit different. You didn't see my face at all. And it kind of has nothing to do with makeup. But I'm going on a Kentucky and I want to share what I was packing. And I've been watching a lot of videos and I actually haven't seen a full-blown, in-depth what am I packing in my toiletry bag video. I'm really anxious about those things and I thought maybe I'll share it. Maybe someone out there is feeling the same thing as me. So obviously this isn't just for Kentucky, it's for like any backpacking situation, any holiday situation. Um, but yeah, hopefully it helped you out and thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you've never seen me before, really help me out. Some of you have messaged me saying that you actually don't see my video in their like feed. So hit the bell icon, that way you will never miss me and I will see you all soon. Bye!